Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia DeShields. Razzle Dazzle is the name of their upcoming event, and I'm still here with Diane from the St. Louis Crisis Nursery. Now, we were talking earlier about um, some of the parenting programs that you have. Can you give us one or two success stories? Sure. I'll tell you about one of my favorite families mm -hmm. that we worked with. Actually, this past summer, do you remember when it was 102, yes. 103 degrees? <laughs> um, we actually found a, a mother and her little boy living out on the streets, wow. and uh, they lived right next to a dumpster, and they had um, two duffel bags with them. That was all that they owned. And we told her about the crisis nursery and we said we'd love to have her little boy come and stay with us and get a bath and get a meal yeah. and, and we'd like to help her find permanent housing. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was a little hesitant at first, but we're really good at what we do yes. and we convinced her that not sleeping on the streets was not the right thing to do. He came to the crisis nursery. We enrolled her in the family empowerment program. And uh, long story short, uh, she was able to be part of the rapid rehousing a program and she got an apartment. Wow. Um, he got a bubble bath and <laughs> some good food to eat and new clothing and um, and she came and picked him up and went. they went to the apartment and um, we kept working with her. Mm -hmm. She got a job. Wow. Um, she's employed now. He's in daycare and she recently joined our parent advisory board. Wow, and, so they um, come and want to help others. Exactly. That's so great. And I know you have countless, countless stories. We, we like do. That. We, we have um, a number of uh, mothers actually that we're working with right now too that have um, some kind of um, struggling with cancer. We've done mm -hmm. a lot of outreach to the cancer community and um, we actually just love celebrating with them when they've gone through their treatment, if it's radiation, chemo, surgery, whatever, and they get a good result because we've cared for their kids mm -hmm. while they're taking care of themselves. Mm -hmm. And the children then have a mother long term. And so it's a win-win situation, yeah. great successes. And uh, while the mother is going through that, we have a program called Compassionate care and everything that she could need, robes and lotion and um, medication, anything she might need to help her during that time, the crisis nursery takes care of. We also work a lot with families that um, living again in such extreme poverty that they don't have any food and they can literally show up at any one of our locations and we have a program called Operation Food Bank and we will give them food immediately and then we'll start working with them mm -hmm. on how to not let that happen again, right. how to budget, how to get employed so that... You guys do everything. You also do fun things. Razzle Dazzle is coming up. Can you tell us about what that what that is? You bet. So we have a $3.5 <laughs> million dollar budget that we have to raise every year. And mm -hmm. one of the ways that we do it is through special events. Mm -hmm. And one of our favorite is the Razzle Dazzle Ball on April 6th. We'll have 650 people come. We'll hope to raise over $300,000. Wow. And it's a, a fun time. But really, we work to help people remember why we're there, that mm -hmm. it really is for the kids. And I believe that's why it's so successful. Yes. How many years have you been doing Razzle Dazzle? Actually, this will be our 18th event. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a while. Great. And I love that we honor um, mm -hmm. people that have helped us throughout the year. So this year, our distinguished corporate citizen is Coca-Cola. And people might not think of them as being giving back to the community, but it was with their help that we were able to build a playground in the mm -hmm. inner city on North Grand mm -hmm. where the children had nowhere to play because there was so much gang activity going right. on. And uh, so we built a, a playground in a fenced in area that um, they are safe now and they can have fun and they can play. And, and Coca-Cola also is a major sponsor of the Razzle Dazzle Ball and many of our other events, our fun run that we'll do on May 4th at Chaminade. And you're also getting the NFL involved. Uh, yeah. There's another event coming up. Can you tell there us about that? There is actually at the Black Fin that we will be doing a um, Cardinals event with the NFL, which mm -hmm. p that seems a little strange, doesn't yes. it? But it's <laughs> apparently it's the opening day of the Cardinals, mm -hmm. and the former NFL players have adopted us, the Crisis Nursery, and our kids uh, to help do fundraising for us the whole month of April, actually. Mm -hmm. So we hope people will come out to the Black Fin and help us celebrate and help us raise money to keep babies alive. Yeah. Um, and keep kids safe. Well, you guys are doing so many great things in the community, and they need your help. We need your help for fundraising. There's a huge budget that you guys have. Um, here's a Razzle Dazzle that's coming up. You guys don't want to miss. It's Saturday, April the 6th at 6 p.m., and then there's also April 1st at the Blackfin. We don't have that on the screen, but you can go to Crisis Nursery um, and the website 
is on the bottom of your screen to get more information. Thank you so much, Diane, for being here with us today. Uh, when we return to STL TV Live, you'll find out how fashion is helping and the cure for cancer. Keep it right here on STL TV. Thank you.